Hi there, Colin here from Precision Optics Eyewear. I'm just going to show you this quick video to run through uh, five different types of bifocal that are available. There are probably other ones out there on the market, but these are going to be, I would say, the five most common bifocals you're going to come across. Now, you can put them into really three categories. You can put them into what we call D segs. And when we talk about a seg, we're talking about the section or the reading area. So this is what we call a D seg, purely because of the shape of the segment. These are what we call round segs. Obviously, there's a round segment here. And this is what we call a curved seg. So this segment here is very similar to the D seg, but the top has got a slight curvature to it. Now, none are better than any others, and each one is going to perform better or worse, depending upon what you're using them for or what your eyes are used to. Now, in general, what you'll find is that your distance area is going to be at the top and your reading area will be at the bottom. Some people might have an intermediate prescription at the top and a reading at the bottom. They might have this bit maybe for computer work and this part here for reading. Or traditionally, what you'll find most of the time is the top part will be for long distance, driving, television, and the bottom part will be for reading. So you can, can play about with different things like that. Now, there's no benefit to one over another. Some people will prefer one more than another but that's really because of personal preference or really for what you're uh, using them for so when we're looking at the d segs the only difference is is the size and the width of the segment so this one here is called a d28 which means that it's a d seg and the top of the segment is 28 millimeters across the top the next one is a d35 and as you probably guessed that means it's 35 millimeters from the top edge from edge to edge the round segs, this is around 24, so it's quite a small segment, and this is around 38. The round 38s um, are, are quite a bit larger than the round 24, and you'll see the differences in a minute when I show you on the frame how that's represented. This one here is called a C28 for a curved top, and that again is 28 millimeters across the top. You can get other bifocals as well, where you have the reading section that goes across the whole lens, um, but that's not as common as, as these five here. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that a lot of people would think, okay, so I might have a D28 or I might have seen this before. I want a much bigger reading area because I do a lot of reading and, or something like that. Let's go for a D35 or around 38. They might not necessarily actually give you much more reading because it's all to do with where these lenses sit in your frame and that is all dependent upon your personal measurements, your pupil distances, how wide apart your eyes are, and whereabouts your eyes sit in the frame vertically as well. So as an example, if we have a look at the round seg, okay, if we were to have this into your glasses, you probably have the round seg probably about here on the bottom part of the lens. Okay, so if you have quite a narrow pupil distance, that segment will be closer to the middle of the frame. If you've got quite a wide pupil distance, it would be further out here. Some people might have the segment quite high up, some people might have it quite low down. And that is all dependent upon where the frame sits and where your eye sits in the frame. So if, for example, your measurements brought the segment to here, okay, that's where the round 24 will be. As an example, if you had around 38, same sort of height and position, you can see that there is obviously a difference there to how much reading area you've got, okay? Now, one of the things you'll find with a round seg is that when your eyes drop down from looking at the distance to the reading, is obviously your eyes aren't met with instantly a wide field of vision. Obviously, as your eyes come down, the vision width will widen because you're starting at the top edge of the circle, and as your vision comes down, the vision widens here. So that's obviously different to something like a D seg, which are these here. Uh, for example, if you had your reading section maybe about there, you can see you've got the whole 28 millimeters across the top that can fit into the lens. If you've got a D35, you, know, you could nearly cover the whole bottom of that lens, obviously depending upon where that needs to sit horizontally and vertically. Like I said, this is just a, a, an idea. You can't really pick where you have this. You know, you could say to me or your optician, you know, okay, I currently have bifocals here. I want a little bit more reading area. And then that, what we'd basically do is we'd see how high we can bring that segment 
to give you more reading area down here without it coming into an issue uh, of your distance vision because what you don't want to do is obviously have uh, a bigger reading area which would be fantastic for reading but then that could then cause problems when you're doing things like driving walking up and down steps or curbs you don't want that reading section to be uh, yeah, in your actual line of sight and causing any issues so don't forget as well just because you've got a bigger reading section doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have more reading because if you've got quite a narrow PD okay your reading section could be there we might actually have to cut some of this off all right that's quite common so you've got a d35 here you might still only get 28 mil inside the lens that is quite hard to sort of understand but when we cut the lens we might only have that much in there at which point you probably pay just to have a d28 put in there so it all depends on how the frame sits on you and you know you as an individual exactly the same works the same way with a curved top okay probably be about there something like that that's where it probably sit in the frame and as i say you, know, you could say to somebody like an optician uh, you know actually my last pair i felt there was too much reading area you felt it wasn't comfortable for you so we can raise the heights a little bit and then decrease that so if you look inside the frame the air, the cutout area that it would be you know we can go from having a, a lens that's got quite a big reading area and reducing the heights down to something more uh, discreet and i've actually had a few clients that have actually requested that before where they've said to me that you know maybe for sunglasses i do a lot of bifocal sunglasses they may well have a lens uh, a frame sorry that has actually got quite a lot of reading area in it and if they're only using the pair of sunglasses for going out and about and they want to do a little tiny bit of reading they'll actually ask for a reduced reading area just for that quick look at their watch their phone a menu something like that so i hope that makes sense um yeah let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these uh or you've got any questions about it because it is a bit of a tricky thing to sort of get your head around and, and to understand it and hopefully these examples have shown you you know some real good um, you know hands-on examples of what the different types of segment are so just to recap we've got d segs because it's the shape of a d and the number after that is represented uh, as a representation of how wide that top part is so d28 d35 you've got round segs round 24 and around 38 and then lastly you've got a c28 which is that curved top there so you know have a chat uh, with your optician or whoever who is providing you with the bifocals have a look at what options are available uh, if there's any questions you guys have got let me know in the comments below uh, i'll be more than happy to help thanks for watching guys bye bye